Hello and welcome to some week 13 Mazda here. It's been a while, so I figured I would go ahead and record a Mazda race here at Rudskagen. Not too many options week 13, so a little bit of fun to, ha to be had in the old Mazda. I've thrown in the baseline iRacing advanced setup, so I guess it's not baseline, right? That's what the other one's called. So the advanced setup, but it's, you know, straight from iRacing. Nothing too fancy. Um, but put that in the uh, in the car. We are the number two here in a 2.3k strength of field. I'm probably going to spin out on cold tires. <laughs> it's so hard to control this thing for the first couple of laps. I'll try not to. But my goodness. That's the classic story with this thing. Just wants to kill you for a lap or two. And then it kinda is indifferent about killing you for the rest. It might, it might not. But at least it's more manageable. <laughs> and uh, well, we're just gonna try to get to that point at least. This corner just constantly destroys me on the cold tires. So I'm gonna underdrive that. Probably, for the most part. Yeah, this corner could be a little bit tough too. Really wants to get you on throttle, which I feel like in the past wasn't a huge thing with the mods, but ever since they kind of updated it, really wants to get you on the uh, on the throttle a lot more. So we're gonna have to watch out for that as well. Get a decent run to the line. Okay. We'll try to get near my all-time best, 134.6. But first and foremost, gonna just try not to crash. Right? A little bit slower than the optimal, but that's to be expected. Usually I get those times whenever the uh, car is about to run out of fuel, tires are all up to temp, all that good stuff. Get through here a little easier. Right. You can really push the limits of the track on that green part of those curbs, but I'm always nervous to do that because they will give you an off track if you push it just a little bit too much. It's a fine line, so not going to tempt fate too much there. Here's a spot you really want to be easy on throttle because it will just absolutely slip out from under you. Another spot right there where you can really get away with getting on the green, but I attempt fade too much. All right. Usually, kind of do like a diamond line in that final corner, and it looks like we're gonna get ourselves a 135 time. That's uh, that'll be fine for our first lap. We'll try to push it a little bit more this time around. See what we can get. So 134.9 is your current full time. I imagine everybody's, uh, so long as they hit their marks, gonna get a better lap on lap two. That's what I'm hoping as well. Ooh, little slippy, little slidey up from under me, but able to hold on to it probably doesn't come across very well but you know the force feedbacks kind of telling me when it starts getting a little weird so I'm trying to stay out ahead of it and not let it slide beyond the ability to catch it that's a really fine line to Walk along right there, too, because the car will slide. Careful not to get an off-track anywhere around there. Got 
to make sure I don't get it off track on exit here. It's very easy to push wide right there if you go too hard. And it looks like this time we're going to get ourselves uh, just barely in the 135s. That's okay. I played it a little conservative. That's fine. Really matters is our speed in the race. Right now, P7. Lots of fast guys in here, of course. 2.3k strength of the field. Pretty solid. 133. That is pretty impressive. But it's all about making it to the end of this thing. Gotta not crash on the cold tires and stuff. We are now bumped out of the top seven. <laughs> P8. This should be top split, I imagine. So you're going to get guys like Nick here, 3.9k strength of field. Maybe not. Actually, I was expecting to see something higher than that. Maybe this is not top split. I didn't really pay attention to how many people signed up, but I was expecting to see, you know, the number one guy being in like the 5,000s or something. But not the case. So maybe not. Maybe we're like second split or something. Hopefully everybody readies up. Uh, not going to happen. The number four is not here. In fact, it looks like they lost connection. So we're just going to have to wait, give them a chance to come back. I should have practiced some more, but that's fine. Um, I've got minimum fuel in this thing. I'll go ahead and give that a look. What minimum fuel that should still be enough to get us around here. And of course, like I said, with the advanced setup, Vance will be a, a little easier to crash, which maybe I don't need that, but it uh, should be faster for us as well. So we're able to hold on to it. So iRacing is going to be fair and try to give this four car a chance to come back. He's got about 42 seconds left to do so. And then we're going to head out for the race. It looks like we are going to be starting E8. Now, what I really hope from this race is just that we can survive the carnage of lap 1, turn 1, and lap 1, turn, I guess it would probably be turn 3 here. Um, the one I'm talking about being this one. This turn really is really dangerous, especially in cold tires. I usually start slight braking around that 100 sign, but... Very difficult corner. This car will slide out from under you here. It can be very easy to push wide out there. And uh, people tend to overdrive it too. Get in the back of you. It can be a real... <laughs> it can be real a real source of danger. Hopefully we will have a good one here though. Going to keep all-time optimal up. See if we can try to... Match my best times consistently. Not likely. But I'll try. We'll get the fast repair ready in case we need it. And that means turning off all this stuff so that way it is as quick as possible getting in and out. A little concerned by the licenses around me. Um, you can't see it, but I do have race labs on my screen. Seen a lot of C license and... Um, a license, but followed by a one point, whatever. Yeah, and uh, someone making a uh, sarcastic comment about good safety rating at the top of the field. Exactly why I'm here, Trevor. I'm trying to redeem myself. <laughs> so, oh boy, we'll get. We'll try to give space, but we were looking good, and then I did three races where I successfully just crash at everything. Really not how to get done. Yeah, so we're gonna give him lots of space. Is <laughs> essentially what's going on. However, it could be me, the one wrecking, uh, very easily. It's not. E it's not an easy car. You would. You would think being a rookie free car. You're like, oh, that's that's beginner, right? Not necessarily, especially if you start putting in that advanced setup. Long delay of green there. But the 
best launch for the guy ahead. We're going to be patient. Car on your left. Stay on the right. The one is already crashing, okay, as he line. said he Clear. was in a bad habit of doing. He is just breaking right there. I don't know if he cut the course or something. But we do survive. Turn one. Car is so uneasy right there. The guy behind crashes. We got an accident up ahead. They will slash. They will go right back into the racing service right in front of us. I thought I saw that coming. Thankfully, slowed down for it. Lots of defensive driving necessary in this series. You almost have to be a fortune teller and see the future. See some smoke around here. That's a little concerning. Ease through this corner a lot easier than I will later in the race. So the car doesn't spin. Same with this corner. Once it starts feeling like I have some more grip, then I'll start driving a little harder. Right now, it's all about bringing it around the course safely. And thankfully, we were able to do so. Despite some other guys not having much success. We are going to be P4, it looks like. Gaining three spots from the start. Hold your brake when you crash. Ah! Good advice from Randall here. <laughs> Good advice provided to you by Capsulock. Guys ahead are going to be really fast, judging by their qual times. So I'm not going to push too crazy hard trying to keep up with them. I think our best shot is being consistent and uh, letting them make mistakes, maybe. Get our apexes. Thomas, you rolled right in front of into me from off track. That might have been the thing that happened right in front of us. We got some space behind. Which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. A little loose on throttle. Of course, recently I just did a Mazda race, the Zero X Challenge, so maybe that'll uh, that will have given me a little bit more experience keeping this thing between the white lines, right? That was a fun little race. Something I'm noticing: those guys up ahead are all right next to each other. You never know if they can start bouncing off one another could benefit us. Normally I shift into first there. Like I kind of forgot though. I'm going to be honest. I just straight up forgot to go to first gear. That's okay. I don't think it hurt us too much. Um, what's going to really put those guys ahead out of reach is the fact they have draft with one another. In fact alone is going to make them gain a ton of speed on us on the straightaways. So that's why I'm not going to push harder than the car is willing to allow just going to focus on hitting my line and not crashing. We'll see what we can do. That 13 behind us, holding steady right now. Another reason I just can't make any mistakes is he will be up on me if uh, I start making too many errors. But so far, so good. If I end up fourth place, that's not bad at all. My racing is estimating here, or at least the race labs is. Estimating a 31 
Where would I rate him gain if I finish here? I feel like we've got some new messages. We just had our uh, update for week 13 for the new season. Noticing some new voice clips from the crew chief and stuff. That's nice. Always great to keep it fresh. Hit that really well. That's probably the best I've ever hit that. According to all-time optimal, it is the best I've ever hit that. Potentially. So the sector was looking really good. Those guys still pulling away ahead, though. So, just gonna keep running my own race, not worrying too much about that. Thankfully got some room behind. Looks like we've pulled away a bit. Ooh, I almost cut that a bit too much. That's probably more than I want to do. That easily could have been a 1x. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but... Unnecessary safety rating hits. Not really necessary. Imagine that. Something unnecessary is not necessary. <laughs> Great commentary here. See more smoke ahead. I wonder if we're going to get... Uh, Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely new. The car P1 just set the fastest lap. I don't know if I necessarily want that information. That doesn't really concern me. I feel like that's just gonna be annoying if I'm side by side with someone and I want to know if I'm clear or not. And he's talking about like, yeah, the car in P38 just got the fastest lap of the race. By the way, after uh, crew chiefing today, I'm heading to IHOP. Would you like to come with me? And then I just crash. I think that's what's going to happen, so I might check to see if there's a setting to turn that off. I'm sure that's much appreciated by some people. I don't know if that's really information I care for. Hey, Tim, you pass me a dive bomb and then you overcorrect him to me? What happened there? You've got one gun left. So unfortunately this isn't turning into too thrilling of a race. We don't really have anyone exactly right around my speed. We're just kind of hoping the guys ahead battle each other and maybe crash or bring themselves back to me fighting side by side, but that's not really happening. In fact, actually, the leader is pulling away. So the leader's got some next level speed. I believe he was your pole sitter, so he's probably just an absolute ace at this track. Just Being able to pull away despite the draft. <laughs> For the last time, Spotter, I don't want to go to IHOP with you. Not tonight. How many? How much time we got left in this thing? Ooh, okay. So next time by, since we got about a minute and a half, next time by is probably going to be our white flag. It's pretty close to being the white flag this time around, I imagine. This has been a good race, though. So far, 0x. Been able to keep it on track. We're able to survive the beginning of the race, which is never guaranteed in this series, or, you know, even outside of week 13, just in the Mazdas. Can't really guarantee. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm going to grass. It's getting a little weird on the curb there. Not a guarantee in this series, no matter what time of year it is. We're getting a little sideways there. We're gonna fuel, right? That flashing light is always makes me worried, even though I know we have enough fuel. It almost feels like the car's getting looser. I wonder if that's because it's lighter in fuel. I feel like that would have the opposite effect, though. Maybe the rear tires are just getting uh, worn out. I know it's a quick race, but, you know, maybe. There's a lot of uh, turns here. You get kind of on the, the rear tires. Crew chief, letting me know what the leader's doing. Um, I can generally see already that the leader is kicking our butts. That is very apparent.
2.7 behind, so that guy's been catching up a bit. He doesn't have the time to catch up if I, uh, as long as I don't make any mistakes, though. I kind of haven't been pushing it quite as hard, because there's no reason to. Not catching anybody up front, that's for sure. Again, unless they make a mistake. Lap traffic head. Don't know if that's going to be something we have to worry about before the end of this thing or not, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Looks like he's plenty far away. But it's looking to me like this will just be a nice, fun, simple week 13 race in the Mazda. Be straightforward. Nothing too crazy, except for uh, near the start, we had a uh, Typical shenanigans. But hey, it doesn't get much cleaner than that. Zero X. I'm going to stop and so I'll have to watch out for that. Good race. Good win. And he's gone. He don't care about our congratulations. He's got another race to go win. <laughs> he did win, right? Yeah, I figured. He was out to a pretty cons pretty uh, significant win. Yeah, good job, nigga. I knew I saw you get into me, I wasn't even about to try to, you know, mess up trying to battle with you, I just let you go, since I'm going to get some more mistakes. Oh, interesting, the guy behind me actually got passed late by that, uh, number one. Yeah, Chase, I, I don't know if I was going to quite, quite get there, but I appreciate the maneuver anyways. I was, uh, I figured you were going for safety once you did something like that. Yeah, look at that. No Rear tires. No Might have been making it even looser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But P4, just outside the podium, but a decent finish nonetheless. Get that estimated 31 road I rating. And helping out that road safety rating, too. Zero X. We'll, be, we'll see uh, what everybody else has uh, received as soon as everybody has finished. And we'll also go ahead and check out the incidents as well. Just a seven lap race here. I think a 134.4 is my fastest ever lap, but that probably had a lot to do with draft as well, so. Grain of salt there. Let's get our camera just right. I did edit my uh, <laughs> Mazda a little bit. Kind of slowly transferring everything into the grape style. Because I guess that's my thing. No. <laughs> we got purple up front with a, like a darker not a, quite a black, right? It's almost a black, but it's got a, a, a tiny bit of purple tint in there, purple hue. And then uh, adding some green to the style, you know? A little bit of green on the grapevine, right? So that's the idea. Uh, let's fix the camera I just ruined. There we go. Are the instants up? Yes, that's what I figured we'd see. Pretty messy for a lot of people. Um, but. Hey, of the uh, top four, we had the 9 and the 10. The 9 getting 13th and a clean race. The 10 getting P2, 0x, and the 3 getting a 0x. So, of all the 0x's, three of them came in the top four. Really speaks for uh, how important it is just to keep it consistent. So, I'm sure uh, a lot of these guys with the big numbers, though, not every one of them was their fault anyway. That. What we got going on? Yeah, I didn't want to be over aggressive here. Um, the guy had had a really bad start. But putting it three wide here is just going to be dangerous. So I decided to back off. And uh, might have saved my life because you may remember how things started happening up, up here eventually. Guys bouncing off each other. Guys spinning. In fact, I thought uh, we had some more happen. I guess that was a little later. The one getting loose, just barely keeping it off him. Yeah, that must have been a slowdown right there. When the one dipped into the inside like that. So he must have had to just go ahead and take the slowdown. Maybe a little dangerous to just slam on your brakes right in front of the whole pack, but it worked out for him. 
Almost three wide, and there's that light blue car just absolutely overdriving it. That's what I was saying. This corner is really dangerous early on. You get a horrible mix of the car not turning and then turning way too much all of a sudden because it'll spin on you too. Kind of like this. Yeah, I don't. I think he probably could have handled that much better. I don't think he needed to end up on track like that. Easy to get disoriented, though, I think. And who knows, maybe he had no control over it, sliding through the grass like that. Yeah, I don't know if he had much of a choice. Kind of just sliding through. But happening right in front of us, he was in the lead, too. That's too bad. Guy behind me spinning. Taking out a couple guys behind, making them slow down as well. I'm, I told you, man, this uh, this whole set of corners. Very dangerous. Where am I? So I see this happening up ahead, and I can see he's headed right for the racing line. So I'm breaking all the way back here. I don't normally break for this corner. I usually just lift, but I see this happening, and I'm like, I gotta make sure I get through this cleanly. And so seeing he's back on the racetrack, I see them moving over to the right, and I'm like, all right, we're ready to go. Let's get past this before he comes back on track again. So that's an unfortunate one for a couple of the guys that were probably going to be pretty darn fast. The ones had some horrible luck. There he's just blinking, though. I think that car is broken. He might have to tow. Yep, he just makes the decision to tow. I think that wasn't steering correctly. Here we are in lap one, the four spinning it, even with no pressure around. He probably tried to enter that corner like you would on lap five. He just can't do it. Can't do it the same way. And uh, speaking of five, the number five, getting his tires off in the grass. He's really fast, but he had trouble uh, keeping it steady for this one. So blinking right there. I'm going to assume he's going to be blinking some more, so we'll move on ahead. Already to lap four, so I think we had a couple of clean laps there, maybe. The seven just going to destroy the 15 for no reason. And uh, more people going to get caught in it. For whatever reason, uh, he just decided to keep his foot in it. I mean, clearly he can go through there faster than the guy ahead, but can't just run into the back of him. I think he probably thought he could get to the left of him. Yes, and, and uh, I think the 15 definitely was pretty slow through there. But just a mistake, I think. It costs a couple people, even though even the ones that weren't really meant to be involved. What we got going on here? So, 11 gets through it, but this guy can't turn. He's got a broken car. And he probably doesn't even know it until he gets on the pavement. So right here, he's realizing the car's not turning. He really wants to get to the pits, which is right there. But he really does not want to turn to the right, at least until the gravel sand helps him. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Is he going to be able to get out of that? Yeah. But, uh... Going to be a large loss of time, to say the least. These guys are racing really hard. These guys are uh, the ones ahead of me. So they don't wreck each other. It would have been good for me. Some more spots, but they were racing hard. Five still having trouble holding on to it. Rough one for him. And we got the 15 just turning in on the light blue car. Oh, that's a terrible move. That is just completely uncalled for. Like, he's a meter back. More than that, probably. And uh, he, he goes off the course to get to his inside. Just way too aggressive. Maybe he missed his braking point or something. I usually break around this white line, and he clearly doesn't break until right there. So I think he probably missed his braking point. Maybe he wasn't trying to be that aggressive, but it sure looks bad. The 15 even saw it and tried to avoid him. 
<laughs> and he still came up and got him. These guys, I think, were pretty ha unhappy with each other. Wow, and now he's break checking him. Yeah, that's unfortunately what you see a lot of times in these monster races. Just some uh, bad drivers that probably shouldn't be on iRacing, on to be honest. Even if this was an accident, the brake check was not. Like, that's a conscious decision and uh, not called for. I don't even... It doesn't... It's not even relevant what might have happened to them early in the race. 14. Spinning it. Troubles for the 5 continue. He's got that car really on edge, and uh, it's fallen off that edge a couple times. I can tell he's got it on edge just because of how easy that thing turned around. 18 there. Similar issue with the spinning and such. And uh, I believe this is the end of the race. The 18 blows his engine, engine intentionally, and that will do it. So, nice, simple, quick Mazda MX-5 race for week 13. We get ourselves a nice, clean fourth place. Move forward a bit, avoid some crashes, and uh, can leave the track feeling pretty good about that one. Bring it home, uh, bring the car home to the shop. Still nice and shiny and clean. That's always good. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you next time with some more week 13 content i imagine and i uh, hope to see you there have a good one